Before the Splendid City was written in the summer, spring and summer of 1992, uh, it was written about New York. Uh, it was written in some ways about my love-hate relationship with New York, but it was written completely away from New York. I had all these images of New York, these iconic images, which are associated with various moments in this crazy eight-minute wild ride. It goes by all very fast, you know, but the beginning of the piece, um, I've always associated with this special passing over the Triborough Bridge into Manhattan from the airport with the famous skyline of New York on the left side. As a kid, I remember that and getting this rush of energy whenever I would see it, you know, coming into the city. Um, it was really around halfway, two thirds of the way through the piece that I realized that what I was doing was creating a love letter in music to New York, to all of its uh, wonderful and terrible things. And, you know, it, it occurred to me too that if you're going to embrace the the joys and vitality of a city like New York, you have to also equally embrace the hassles. So this was a this was also a turning point in my relationship to the city that I'd been living in at that point for 12 years as an adult, but had originally been born in. I always love the city because it has something in its vitality and vibrancy that no other city in the United States has.